Hi and welcome back to my weekly podcast. Today is my cooking day. I am cooking some bolognese sauce and when I cook then I always cook plenty so it lasts not only for one meal but for several meals and maybe I store some bolognese sauce in the freezer to have it later on. And while the sauce is boiling and cooking now for several hours, I do some other stuff like filming or like preparing messages or like talking with you. And today I would like to talk about set goals for 2019. Have you set your goal for 2019? Have you maybe written it down? In our small group, we had an interesting discussion about setting goals. You can see also laundry day today also is going on in my house. A lot is going on, but right now I would like to talk about setting goals because in small group, we came up with a very interesting picture. Imagine, now oh, I turn my pen, imagine you would like to go to that corner over there and while you are walking or while I am walking I have to pass that chair, I, I hit that chair but what happens if that chair stands in my way, I just walk around and then the sofa is here, I just make it through the sofa to just reach a corner because I wanted and decided to go to that corner. Now I turn my cam back, here I am and if I don't set a goal to go to that corner and I would reach the chair then maybe I am tempted to sit down or maybe if I see the sofa is more comfortable I sit down on that sofa. So this was for me a very inspiring picture when it comes in terms of setting goals for 2019 or setting goals for any year. So I have made several experiences about you know, the resolutions we have for a new year. But this year, it was very interesting because we had a family message on 24th of December and each family member shared a personal experience. When all of a sudden I had the impression that God was telling me that each and every one the two minutes we shared from a personal experience is what God wants to do in 2019 on and on. So I said to the boys, hey boys, I have an impression for you um, that the, short, the story you shared is not only what you experienced once, but you will experience it over and over again in 2019. And that was very encouraging. So I was thinking, hmm, what was my experience I shared? and I shared that I experienced God as my provider. So I wrote it down for 2019. My goal or what I will experience is God as my provider. And you know, I, I opened a file on my notes that says provider 2019. What I do now is whenever I come up with an experience or with a thought or with a Bible verse or with whatever that goes into the topic of provider, I file it in that file. And at the end of the year, I will have a whole journey to read through and think about what God has done in one year. And I am so inspired to do that because last year I did not write anything down, but I had the goal to um, get rid of some trash in our house. And when I look back what, what changed from January last year to December of the, uh, of the same year, it is amazing. It is amazing how much changed. And because I had this goal to get rid of some trash and that's why I am so encouraged to write down my goal and to write down what happened during the year in order to read and look back and reflect what God did in 2019 with my goal to experience God as a provider. So what I really encourage you to do is think about, even though the year already started, think about what you 
uh, want to experience in 2019? What is the goal you want to set? And then write it down. And then write what you experienced with that goal or what you experienced on the journey to reach that goal. Because you will be surprised what can change in a one whole year. And I, I really think you would love to read that and reflect on how the journey was in order to learn and to be experienced and, uh, 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 and to be excited and, and encouraged what happened in one year. Oh, hey, and by the way, I almost forgot to read you the Bible verse I prepared for you. The Bible verse is from Isaiah 50 verse 4 and it says, He wakes me up every morning. He makes me want to listen like a good student. This is for me the most important things in terms of setting goals. To take time to reflect and to listen what God wants to tell me. God bless you.